Hey kids, Mr. JJ from Alive giving you your weekly video. I hope everybody is well. No one's going stir crazy um, being at home so much. I miss you guys. I know I'm uh, trying to get outside, spend some time outside with my family just to get out of the house so I don't go crazy. Um, I hope everybody had a great Easter celebrating our risen King, Jesus, and what he did for us on Good Friday on the cross and then how we conquered the grave on Sunday um, on Easter. Um, so let's jump in. That all ties right into our, our lesson. So element of the month, the risen King, the Son of God who reigns forever. Who's the son of God? Yeah, Jesus. And is he a risen king? Did he? Did we just celebrate in Easter that he rose from the grave? Yeah, he's a risen king who reigns forever. I think we talked about this a couple months ago, a month and a half ago, about the idea of reigning, what a king does when he reigns his kingdom. Our risen king, Jesus, reigns over his kingdom, and his kingdom is vast. It's earth. It's the universe. It's heaven. It's a great, anything God has created, that's what Jesus is reigning over um, forever. Um, so I really like that idea. Um, let's move into the verse of the month. Verse of the month, I hope, I bet that almost everybody has it memorized by this point. I know that there's some tools out there for you guys to recite. I hope you guys are doing that with the help of your parents and reciting to someone that's listening to it. I hope you guys are practicing them. So it was 1 Timothy 1.17. 1 Timothy 1.17. And go. I can't hear you guys. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, so to the king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God be honor and glory forever and ever. To the king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God be honor and glory forever and ever. Forever and ever is a long, long, long time. <laughs> Forever and ever. Um, but our God, our King, our risen King, he's, he's reigned 500 years ago. He's reigning today. He's going to reign forever and ever. And that's just a really awesome thought to know that our King, his kingdom, heaven, earth, wherever it may be, wherever his hands have created, he's in charge. He's reigning over that. Um, kind of goes back to last month and that he's sovereign. Um, and reign is in the word sovereign. So our king, he's in control. He's going to reign forever and ever. Um, it's just a really good thought. Just remember, every day we need to live our lives honoring God in, in, a, in a fit fashion. Um, he is our king and we should treat him as a king in our words, in our actions, in our study lives, praying to him. Um, just all good reminders for us. So big idea of the month. Big idea of the month. Again, it ties into the whole, this is Easter month as I call it. Um, so it ties into what we just celebrated on Sunday of Easter. Um, the risen king is preparing a forever home. Where is this forever home that the risen king is preparing for us? Heaven. That's right. Heaven. So as Christians... Um, I think John in John 3 16, we're told if we believe in Jesus, we will never die. Um, so if, when we leave our bodies here on earth and we die here on earth as Christians, we know that believing in Christ and being Christians, we get to go see that forever home in heaven and we get to be there forever with Jesus. It's just amazing to me. Um, I like the saying that here on earth, this is not my home. I remind myself of that a lot. Um, we, it's easy to get caught up in the world and our, our toys and the things we have here on earth, but none of that's important because this is not our forever home. We have a forever home in heaven with a king that is already there making a place for us um, forever. That's just it's really cool to think about. So I'm very thankful um, that we had Good Friday, that the, our Lord and Savior went to the cross to forgive our sins, and that he rose from the grave. He conquered death. Death had no bounds on him. And then when he left earth, he went to heaven to start preparing a place for us, for you and I, to spend with him forever and ever, and to be with him in his glory. That's awesome. That's the fiber of what we believe in and 
who we are as Christians that this is not our forever home. Um, he's making a place for us and has made a place for us in heaven. Kids, I'm going to cut it off. I'm getting long. Miss you guys. I'll look forward to sending you another video next week, and I can't wait to see you again in person soon.